was walking into a bluegrass jam where uh, him and some buddies were playing music in South Dakota at this festival. And I was walking in with my best friend Kelly Hegstead. And all of a sudden, I look up and, my, and I see this guy and I'm like, whoa, he's a hunk. And Kelly's like, what? I'm like, that guy is a hunk. And I was like, I hope that's the guy my mom wants me to beat. Because <laughs> she had told me that there's this guy who's working in Center, North Dakota and that he was this like really cute engineer who played bluegrass. And I just was not into, like I didn't want to be with anyone at the time. I was ready to move to Colorado and stuff. And, uh, but when I saw him that night, I was like, I really hope that's the guy my mom wanted me to meet. And it was, so yeah, that's the first time I met him. Met Kayla briefly at a bluegrass festival in South Dakota. We talked a little bit. Um, when I returned to North Dakota from, uh, from that festival and from a little bit of uh, uh, a work trip. Uh, we got a chance to get together and have dinner and we got to talk quite a bit then. And uh, just immediately I knew that there was, I mean, there was some kind of connection. I mean, the musical connection and having met in that capacity was, I mean, obviously first indication, kind of always an indication for me. After uh, being established a little bit more in North Dakota, I ended up just kind of living in the area for a while and we got a chance to hang out and talk a lot more and uh, the friendship grew in kind of a very nice, gradual way. We got to know each other really well. When did I know Reed was the one? I knew the most when I was coming down a mountain with him. We were in Wyoming. This song started to play by a, like, a really good band that I like a lot, one of my favorites, Kenny and Amanda Smith. And they started singing this song, and he started singing the lyrics, and so did I at the same time, and it's an older song. And then when the time came for the person to play like the solo part in the song, then we both hummed that part of the song. That's definitely the time where I was like, I'm gonna have a lot of fun and I wanna be with this guy forever. When I knew Kayla was the one, we were, uh, we were driving down a mountain in Wyoming and decided to put on some music. And it was uh, an album that I was really familiar with, but one that I considered to be a little bit more obscure, like not a, not that many folks knew it. And she started singing lyrics to it, which was cool. But when she started humming uh, the, the, ma the instrumental solos and started humming all these, these parts of the song that, you know, someone could only know if they'd listened to it a million times as I had, I think I just, I don't know if I just stopped driving or I don't really remember what happened. I just remember my jaw dropped, you know, literally and figuratively. And after work, we went for a walk down at the river and we were walking and all of a sudden I felt him like he had his arm around me but he was kind of like pushing on my back like more directing me to like a certain area of the park. I was like where is he taking me and I was like oh he's probably surprised this planned date or something and it turns out it was a surprise but um, he was telling me how we didn't have to be stressed about which ring anymore to get and he's like I'm just not stressed anymore I'm like well at least someone's not stressed I'm like that's good babe that's good you're not stressed and he goes yeah because I actually bought you the ring yesterday in Montana and then I'm like what and then, like I turn around and he asked me to marry him so I just remember pulling the ring out of my pocket and she just lost it and I don't know it, it, it all felt really really surreal and kind of how in hindsight exactly kind of how that should how that kind of thing should be. It shouldn't be too well practiced, shouldn't be too well you know, choreographed. It just happened and it was, I don't know, when Kayla lost it, I kind of lost it too. My favorite thing about him, oh my gosh. Can I say like five? <laughs> I think, I like that he makes me laugh a lot. He always makes me laugh if I'm sad. He always <laughs> notices like if anything's wrong, he won't let me like, leave his house or leave my house with me being sad or upset like he always figures out what's wrong right away and he notices like if I have this tiniest sad face on even if I'm trying to hide it he notices and I just think that's like been really awesome for our relationship for any relationship because we never have to go away angry we never go away sad and just being able to know that we're always like doing good before we part from each other um, that's probably my favorite my favorite thing about Kayla, I would have to say it's the, the way that, that she and her personality and her demeanor and a lot of, and a lot of other traits and characteristics that she has, they, 
they act as a as a calming factor for me. I know I get um, you know, I just tend to uh, get more easily uh, riled up about things maybe, and uh, she she definitely brings me back down and calms me in a lot of different ways uh, when if and when that happens, and uh, just always assures me that things are going to be things are going to be good, that things are going to work out, and uh, I don't know just it's kind of the epitome of that kind of complimentary trait that you hope your spouse or future spouse will have. Our future together. I'm gonna cry. This is cool to wait your whole life for someone that was really worth it. So I guess I would say that I'm glad I waited and I'm thankful that I get to experience dating and just all these new things with you because you're the love of my life and I know we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna make a lot of people happy around us mainly because you're always happy <laughs> and I'm just excited to have my best friend with me forever sorry <laughs> Kayla if there's one thing in our future that that I look forward to the most the spontaneity and the smiles and the good times and the never letting things get boring type <laughs> type pattern or lack of pattern that we've kind of kind of established I don't know it just I think for me and for for us and I don't know maybe for, for a lot of couples not falling into any kind of rut uh, is seems to be really important and <laughs> with this happy as you make me in so many different ways and all the things I want to do with you and experience with you. I can't imagine ever falling into a rut with you and I just always look forward to things being uh, being really interesting, really fun and uh, just getting a chance to have a lot of the experiences that we've both thought of individually and uh, take the trips that we've thought about taking and just making all of that four times better based on the fact that we get to do it together. How long do I see myself with Kayla? <laughs> um, well, I would, uh, based on my, my conversation with, with Jack, uh, Jack Weiss, Kayla's grandpa last night, we're, we're aiming to, to beat his and Alice's 67 years, which is coming up in June. Um, so I know we're, we're gunning for just, just to, you know, keep the spirit of competition alive with Jack. I'm looking for more than 67, but I'm looking for uh, for a lot more time than that. How long do I see myself loving him? Till the day I die, and after that, <laughs> he's my best friend. So if I could hold his hand from here and into heaven with Jesus, I will.